The Crico Thyrotomy Unlimited Trainer, or CUT, provides a simple and affordable way to perform necessary training for accessing the airway through the neck. It provides a training device that is anatomically similar to a human neck, but it's specifically designed to be affordable, allowing you to perform repetitions of the procedures at the lowest possible cost. Items that are included with the device are the Cricothyrotomy Neck Unit and the Cricothyrotomy Cartilage Overlay Unit. Skills that can be performed on this trainer are the surgical crike and the needle crike. The nice thing about this device is no replacement tracheas are necessary. The cartilage overlay unit is meant to be reusable under normal use and care. It has these extra slits built right into it to allow for some flexibility when passing the airway. The cut membrane tape, skin tape, and adhesive blocker would be the only things that would need to be replaced once rolls are empty. Next I will demonstrate how to use this device. No replacement tracheas are necessary. The cricothyroid cartilage overlay unit is meant to be reusable under normal use and care. The tracheal opening is built right into the trainer. There's some flexibility built in here for the, allow, to allow the airway to pass. <clears throat> The membrane tape, skin tape, and adhesive blocker will need to be replaced once the rolls are empty. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this cartilage overlay unit from the neck unit. Next, we're going to use a piece of tape to simula simulate the membrane. I like to use a piece of white cloth tape or medical tape, but it doesn't really matter. Foam tape is fine. Any, any kind of vinyl tape or anything like that would work fine. It the type of tape isn't important. I just like to use something that's white because we use foam tape as the skin and it's a little bit of a different color uh, and that makes the procedure, that, that gives you the two layers as you're going through and doing the procedure. So for the membrane tape, cut a piece three to four inches long and then you're going to want to put a piece of backing on that. Now we use stickers. Uh, you get a very large roll of these with thousands of stickers on it, pretty cheap, and we put that on the back and the center. And I'll show you the purpose for that uh, once we get into the procedure. That goes over the opening here, and then we replace the cartilage overlay unit. Next, we're going to put the skin piece on. Again, you'll need a, you'll need a uh, I like to use a three inch uh, foam tape. I think that has a nice texture to it when you're uh, performing the procedure. Uh, about three to four inches, and we're going to put a piece of backing on it. You can use the sticker, you can use another piece of foam tape, it doesn't really matter. Let's use, uh, let's use a piece of this cloth tape here as backing. Again, we're going to want to hit the center of that, and that's going to go over the opening, and again, I'll show you the purpose of that. Um, <clears throat> we'll identify your landmarks, uh, and you're ready to make your incisions. So we'll carefully cut through this first layer that, uh, that mimics the skin. And now we can see through, there's a space with this trainer between the skin layer and the membrane layer, allowing you to see the two different layers as you work through the procedure. So next we're gonna make our cut through the membrane. And we're ready to place our airway. Now you can use a, a endotracheal tube um, or a shyly like this uh, to pass through this. So you'll slide the airway through the opening. You can inflate your balloon, secure it, whatever you want to do as part of your normal procedure. Uh, the purpose uh, of the backing tape now is for when we remove this device from the trainer. Because the back side of the tape is sticky, obviously, it will catch the balloons. As you can see, this one here, it caught this balloon, and it'll, and it'll tear that balloon. Same thing with the ET tubes. Backing tape on there. These will slide. These will slide right out. And then simply remove the tape. And you're ready for your next repetition of the skill.